It's another stunning June summer's day here in Tallinn and today we are heading over to the east side of Tallinn over Parita Way to see the botanical gardens and the Tallinn TV tower. <laughs> we're gonna get some panoramic views of the city. Fantastic <laughs> but first we're gonna jump on the tram. Let's go. I've checked on Google Maps and the botanical gardens are about a 15-20 minute taxi journey away um, but we're going to get the tram yeah, over to Kadriori <laughs> Park and then get a bolt. Off it goes on its little trip around Kadriori Park, little electric bus for tourists. Tada! Uh, to botanical gardens. Yeah. So that bolt cost us four euros thirty from Kadrioru Park to Tallinn Botanical Gardens, and the botanical gardens were one of the main things. Well, one of many things that were closed during lockdown and it's only been reopened for I think a few weeks, weeks couple of weeks or so. Um, excited so yeah. to be here. It so already excited. looks beautiful. We're just walking through the car park and we can see the TV tower in the background. <laughs> yeah, which we're gonna go to next. We're just gonna get some tickets. We've just come into the entrance of the botanical gardens and we paid 34 euros for the two of us two adult tickets but that includes entrance to the botanical gardens and the tv tower later um so we've got given a little map here and the lady was so kind she's given us some like main places to go to she recommended we go over here so we're going to try going there first there's also an exhibition happening which i checked online before and it finishes today so we're definitely going to go check that out and this is also a highlight over here, but there's some work being done, but we can still go there. And we're gonna see all of it, hopefully, but we're gonna start off heading over here. Let's go. Just 15 minutes outside the city, it's beautiful. Should we rub both our hands together? <laughs> yeah, I've got loads. <laughs> How noisy are the birds? This is beautiful. I came in here I thought there was like a salty smell of the plants and I realised those two guys who were just eating some crisps next to me. <laughs> I totally thought it was like the plants. I came in and was like, mmm, there's a salty smell. And then I was like, that'll be you guys eating snacks. <laughs> did you not smell it? No? I knew they were eating crisps. I didn't. I just was like, oh, these plants are salty. It's like, oh, that smells like um, <laughs> bacon rashes. <laughs> anyway, it's very cool as you come in here. <laughs> Thank you. 
Where's Kirsty? I can't even see her. <laughs> Where's she gone? Oh, I can hear something. Don't you just love it when your outfit matches your activity? <laughs> so weird. I can hear but I can't see nothing. Ooh, camouflage! <laughs> We just walked around into the Garden of Senses and there's a little bench swing that we're going to have a go on and then just next to it I noticed this, that's so um, disabled friendly. So you just pull the ramp down, wheel the wheelchair in and then you just use this to pull yourself and swing. Great, it's very inclusive. Really nice to see, I don't think I've ever seen that anywhere. So nice. The Garden of Senses is first and foremost directed toward people with special needs but is also for professional and amateur gardeners and those interested in medicinal plants. It contains useful plants, meaning plants that humans use for several reasons, such as cooking and medicine. The garden enables looking, touching, smelling, sometimes tasting, and even listening to the plants, sensing in every way. We're gonna go on this one. Tere. Tere. Mediterranean. Sounds very tropical for the med. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they knew it was going to grow quite this big when they put the path here and planted him over there? Boom. <laughs> they had to do that. <laughs> We've just walked over from the greenhouses to the lily section and they are absolutely spectacular. There's so many different types and colours. It's just gorgeous. We've walked around the greenhouses and all the gardens and now we're just heading back out the main entrance because there's an exhibition which we're going to catch. We've got about 35-40 minutes before it closes. And it's the last day of so the exhibition so we should see it. Yeah. We're on our way. The Tallinn TV Tower which shuts in 30 minutes so we've got to be quick. <laughs> we just had a lovely walk around the botanical gardens. They're fantastic. You can imagine through the different seasons, each different section has something to offer. So and pretty. We've seen a lot today. We're just making our way over to the TV tower now, which apparently we've been told closes at 7 p.m. Um, however, there is a restaurant that says 11 p.m. <laughs> but we have so, tickets for the viewing platform, so we're guessing that shuts at 7, but we don't know. But if not, I guess we'll just go up to the restaurant, but we will find out in the next few minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you go uh, straight uh, through the store, so, uh, the elevator at 21st floor. Nice, okay. Done then. We just found out that as long as you get yourself in before 7, there's a bit of a loophole because the restaurant doesn't close until 9 o'clock. 
So we've got ourselves in, it's quarter to seven and we can stay up there until I think at least so nine we've o'clock. Only got, we've got 15 minutes on the actual viewing platform and then we can go in the restaurant and grab a drink and see the view. So. Perfect. Lucky. 21 and then we're going to go to 21 and then we're going to go to where's 22? Oh, the lift goes to 21 and then you go up to 22 for the restaurant. these moments. Yeah. There's so much more space up here than I imagined. We're at the top of the Talon TV tower. It's 314 meters high and we've just found these little glass portholes. I was gonna say check holes, really but cool. check this out. We'll show you what them. we mean. So you can see. It's all frosted. That frosts it. That frosts it. And then that is crazy. Craig's there. <laughs> Craig stays Head about up. there. That's fine. Well done for coming up there. <laughs> <laughs> Tallinn Bay. The city of Tallinn is over here and they go across there and this is the peninsula at the edge of Tallinn Bay and I think just a slither on the horizon there you can see Finland. It's a little bit hazy the further out you go but I'm pretty sure that's Finland. I've got no chance of seeing that. <laughs> we might just make it to Finland one day. <laughs> yeah, we're coming for you maybe. Two nights in Tallinn has turned into three months by now. Nearly four. <laughs> Nearly four months. We're coming, Finland. <laughs> Home is that way. 1,780 kilometers. This down here is where we've just been, Tallinn Botanical Gardens. And this here is the main greenhouse. You can see the rest of the grounds around here. All of this forest area is Parita Forest and just in front of it over there you might be able to see a little marina that's where Parita Marina is and the beach is just to the right of it and then you've got Parita River running along up here. Tallinn Old Town over here I think my finger's pointing it out and then the business district just to the side of it and we in Teleskivi are the other side and this over here is Palkiasare National Park on the peninsula. Just over here is Noah restaurant where we went to celebrate our two year anniversary. Oh, Riga, that's where we drove from. 280 kilometers away. Three and a half months ago. <laughs> Vilnius is where we drove from before we got to Riga. So we drove from Vilnius to Riga to here. And now we can see it all. That's when we last went to a TV tower. So we've just taken a wander around the 21st floor, the viewing platform of the TV tower. It's really cool, you can see all the capital cities all the way around the world and their distances in relation to where you're stood. And now we're going to go up to the 22nd floor and check out the restaurant. It looks really nice. It's really nice. We're up on the 22nd floor of the TV tower and we came up to the restaurant. We just grabbed ourselves a quick brownie and a couple of drinks each, so just soft drinks, because we needed a bit of refreshment. And it was like a huge wedge of brownie, so we're just sharing it. It was only four euros, which we think compared to certainly London prices, for a, um, a snack like this up at a high view would be quite a lot more. I think about five or six pounds. So we were pretty happy with the, the wedge of brownie that we got. They do proper food as well, but we are in a rush. So. Quick snack just to keep us going. 
such a lovely vibe up here and up on the 22nd floor where the restaurant is you can actually go out onto the balcony and onto the outside so we're going to do that afterwards. There is also an over the edge experience when you're clipped to the very edge. Um, we're not going to do that today and I'm not sure I'll ever do that. Kirsty might. <laughs> so they give you these little blankets to the bottom as you go out to keep it. See if we're going past so it looks pretty windy. So, definitely gonna wrap up. Let's head out. <laughs> I can't believe you're not gonna wear a blanket. Oh. Don't trip. You might want a blanket. <laughs> wow, it's quite windy up here. <laughs> I can see why they give you these. I wouldn't want to do this in the winter time. <laughs> And that is the end of today's adventure. We hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell so you know when we next load an adventure. And we'll see you guys on the next video. See you later. It's another stunning June summer's day here in Tallinn and we are today we are off to the Tallinn TV tower. Got that wrong didn't I? <laughs> Filming me. It's too fun watching you try. Hello. I'm waiting. Thank you. You know when you have your eyes out, it's not to look like you put your mask on.